Hello, it's week 12 of season 5 of the Andy Griffith Show. This week's episode title is The Darling Baby. Barney? Andy and Ulti are in the courthouse. And Ulti is showing his taw some scientific tricks that he learned from a book. And then Ulti has to go home to lunch, so Andy comes out front and sits with me on the bench. And then we hear and see the Darlings ride into town on their truck. Mr. Darling, Charlene, and her four brothers. And I say, look, Charlene's got a baby. And we say hi to them, and they say their new girl's name is Andalina. Named after Andy, because he did so much to help them in the past. And they all come in the courthouse. And Charlene says her husband, Dud, is in the mountains, because it's possum season. And now they've got another mouth to feed. They say they're all in town for a betrothing. To find a boy to pledge his hand and heart to Andalina for a future marriage. And I say that kills me. Three month old baby getting engaged, and here I am, 35, and I'm only keeping steady company. And they want Andy to spread the word about Andalina and the dowry, which is an 8 9 10 cottage on the back 20, and a cow that comes with it. And Andy says, Don't you all be disappointed if you, if you get turned down a few times. And that night after supper, they all come to Andy's house to tick with him. And after they say they didn't have any luck finding a boy, and Aunt D takes the baby to show it to a neighbor, they all play a love song while Charlene sings. And then Ulti comes in and says good night. And they say he's a good looking boy with good manners. So Mr. Darling and Charlene say that he's their choice. Ulti and Andalina are being pledged. Darlings and tailors, once twain shall be as one. And Andy says, absolutely not. And they want Andy to sign a paper that their preacher made up saying the, the two are betrothed. And Andy says, no, Opie's only 10 years old. And Mr. Darling says, okay, well, we'll sign in the morning after you think about it for a while. And the next day, Andy tells me about it in the courthouse. And I say, well, they can't be serious, Andy. I mean, as long as you've taken your stand and made your taunt, They've got to forget about it and head for the hills. I tell him I was in a similar situation when I was 30. How see Loretta Winslow's daddy wanted me to marry her. I say, he saw an unmarried civil servant, security, and he named me a terrific author. Third interest in a prune bidding operation. Full use of the company car, an interest in the family home, and a beautiful hillside plot in the Mount Pilot Cemetery. But after you met her, you, you told her no, and he kept after you, and you had to hold your ground. And you tell Andy that that should be his strategy with the darlings. And then Ulti walks in in a brand new suit. Ulti says the darlings just bought it for him. And Andy says he's going to go to the stop to this right now. So he goes to his house, and all the darlings are there. They're having an engagement party already. And they give Ulti the baby to hold, and even Ulti says that he didn't want to marry her. Doesn't want to marry her. And then Charlene takes the baby back, and Andy sends Ulti upstairs, but first he says something to him quietly, off to the side. And then Andy pr plays another song with the guys, while well, you uh, drink mulberry squeezins that the darlings brought, that turn out to be hard. And then Opie comes back in the room, and Mr. Darling says, okay, it's time to sign. So you, you come up all drunk and try to stop it, and Mr. Darling just looks at you, and you, you walk away. And then Andy and Ulti sign, and then Andy says some kind of chant, and then the signatures disappear, and Mr. Darling accuses him of witchery, and they all get scared and leave. It turns out Andy had told Ulti to go get the disappearing ink that he had made from reading his scientific trick book. And the next day the Darlings come to the courthouse, to play some more music with Andy. They say that just because the engagement's off, because of Andy's witchery, there's no reason they still can't associate with him. Well, I'm glad it turned out well. We'll see you next week.